My husband wants me to give up starting my business to have a baby. We already have an eight-year-old that I am the, the only one responsible for when it comes to daily care. Never mind that I'm totally nuts and having a baby would put me in the ground. I mean, I nearly took my own life after having this one. Never mind that my husband used to get irritated with our son when he was little so I had to take care of everything. Never mind that he can't even properly brush his teeth. Then, as if all of those reasons weren't enough, he wanted me to be a stay-at-home wife mother. Been doing that for five years now and has caused nothing but issues. Always having problems paying bills, never even able to get me a decent birthday Christmas gift. I have a chance to start my own baking business. I'm really good at it like really good and there's a market for what I am trying to do. He wants me to put it off because he will take care of the baby and I can just start it next year. He was surprised to find out that I despise cooking because you love to cook and are good at it. I'm good at many things and being forced to turn my passion into a thankless, penniless job day in, day out, is crap. I'm not having another baby. Editor ADD thank you everyone for your support and words of encouragement. Get birth control that he can't sabotage like the implant, IUD, tubes tied. Don't live your life to please him. Definitely no more babies but would you say your husband is setting a good example of how a man behaves to your son? Sounds like with all your skills you're ready to live on your own and have one less burden around. I feel like he knows this too and that's why he wants you trapped and dependent with a new baby. Make sure that no accidents happen. Trust him not. He purposely FKS stuff up so I don't ask again. Last year I begged him. To help with the garden and he had a whole panic attack. Ended up doing. It myself anyway. Triangular flag on post. Yikes. Your husband sounds like a burden to your well-being, negligent, and unwilling to change given how he consciously weaponizes his incompetence. Negligence is abuse. Get your business going, you deserve the freedom to make the choices that lead to your happiness. You should do this start a bakery, do not have another child and divorce your husband who 100 does not want you to succeed or be happy and will absolutely stand in the way of both. A your life would be much easier without him. B your child would be much better off without him. B make sure he doesn't try to sabotage whatever you use for birth control. First of all, stop ironing as it's a pointless thankless task. If he wants to wear an iron shirt he can do it. Secondly, get yourself on tamper-proof contraception. No is a complete sentence. You probably would be doing less work cleaning if you divorced your husband and went about life alone. Right now you're looking after two people. Fucking right you're not having another baby. Unironically it sounds like your life would be less difficult as a single mother running an awesome bakery business. Though I sincerely hope can't even properly brush his teeth is an exaggeration. Sounds like a baby trapper. If he didn't help with the first, he sure as heck won't help again and the fact that he's willing to risk your life please please make sure the birth control you use cannot be altered or messed with as I've read some scary things about that. Divorce him and go for alimony while you start your own business. He's literally trying to baby trap you out of financial independence. Do not go to couples therapy, this is not a relationship worth saving. If I were in this situation, I'd make an appointment with my gyno to get sterilized. I'm always astonished when men push having children when they are zero involved with them. But then I realize it's not about the kid, it's about trapping the woman. Until then read what a mess y'all are in, my answer was going to be what is he going to give up sacrifice for you? Honey, dump him and start your business. Take your kiddo and leave. Send him back to his mama. Ah. So he wants a return to the previous status quo. Hugs to you do what's right for you. Don't do it. You'll regret it for the rest of your life. Take it from one who knows it is easier to be a single mom than to raise a child and a grown man. Leave him. Make a plan, then execute that plan immediately.
he's never going to let you have your business. He's going to keep you at heel to wait on him until you can't even remember the woman you used to be. It would be more reasonable to give up your husband to start your business instead. Why are you with this man? You're already a single mother to children divorce him and it can be one. DTMFA. You only live once don't spend it with someone like this. You deserve better and so does your son. Men like this do not improve. Too often we tell ourselves I can put up with this, when we should be asking why am I putting up with this. Hey OP, just make sure that he doesn't compromise you in any way. My recommendation is to get your tubes tied or get on BC because I fear his desperation will cause him to do something to impregnate you again. Get long-term birth control or tubes tied and GTFO, he is going to trap you. He already is using weaponized incompetence. From what you have wrote here I do several things. 1. Get back in contact with family and friends in case you and the babe need to leave. Like find that person that would let you stay with them in an emergency. 2. Get sterilized. 3. Start your business get a job. 4. Divorce. Please make sure you manage whatever form of birth control you are using. Don't trust him to be in charge of that. Don't leave it around if you are taking pills or whatever. Really, you sound miserable and if your husband can't see that or doesn't care, maybe it's time to reevaluate your marriage. He purposely FKS stuff up so I don't ask again. That is awful and abusive. Please OP, sounds like you are self-sufficient and he drags you down. He isn't going to take care of a new baby, he doesn't take care of the existing child. Wishing you well. How surprising that when you have a plan which will allow you a bit of independence he suddenly decides he wants another baby that he promises to help with. Run it's a trap, his trap which he has not so cleverly laid to keep you in his control. Run run far, run fast and never look back. Honestly it sounds like he's trying to sabotage you starting a business because he wants you reliant on him so you won't leave. Sounds like you already have two kids. Divorce that clown and get a small apartment. Start the business. Earn your own money so you don't have to rely on him for anything. It's a trap he will absolutely not look after a second kid and you will be more stressed and unhappy. Don't start the business while you're with him. I say this not because you can't, but because you're married and he will have claim to any money you make. I've seen it happen several times. Have an appointment set to go get your tubes tied while he's at work, and start your plan to get out. Then live your life. He sees it, he wants another baby to keep you trapped. I'm proud of everything you've accomplished. I'm proud that you take care of stuff that you hate doing. You shouldn't have to do it all, but I just wanted to acknowledge all the things you do. I hope your business venture takes you far. I don't understand why you're still married. You have a life you want to live, and your husband sounds like he wants to sabotage it at every step to force you into his idea of what a woman should be. I don't know how you do it. I'd have murdered him by now. Keep the business, dump the husband. He's threatened by your drive. He knows he's exploiting you and is afraid of losing all the benefits you bring to his life. You. Don't. Need. Him. Strategize your exit. Start running success scenarios in your head. Visualize the free life, taking care of only one child who's halfway to his own independence, instead of an adult who won't brush his teeth and has a breakdown about gardening. OP, it sounds more like your husband wants to keep you trapped as his maid than he actually wants a kid. He's thinking a kid will keep you trapped so he can maintain his cushy status quo he doesn't actually want another kid. He sees you gaining independence and is freaked out because it means he won't get the services in, all that you, his servant, provide to him he gets now. Don't get pregnant. Be careful with your birth control so he doesn't sabotage it. Start your baking business and gain independence. Your husband sounds like useless dead weight a grown-up kid. 